Rebecca and welcome to The Carriage House, a place where you can find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. I'm in my kitchen this afternoon making a calm and ever so relaxing chamomile and peppermint tea. Our homeschool day has been completed, so just looking forward to sipping on a warm cup of tea while sorting through our seeds that will begin to sow in the garden. Another season of spring is finally here and looking forward to planting our sweet shelling peas in the garden this afternoon before I start preparing our dinner. cherish this time of year is the sowing of seeds. Planting a seed in the ground is something so simple but the outcome of it all is utterly miraculous. Something so tiny begins to sprout and slowly develops into this beautiful plant that oftentimes produces these lovely delicate flowers that bring more life and more seed and it's just so beautiful to observe. Our homeschooling days can often if not always leave me very fatigued by the end of the day and even though it's a very chilly and windy spring afternoon, for some reason, after I went into the garden, I began to feel more alive and renewed. One of our family favorite recipes for dinner is this one, savory carrot cakes with an orange sherry sauce, which I oftentimes leave out the sherry. They are so delicious and flavorful and pretty healthy overall. I grated the beautiful orange carrots and will chop a sweet red onion along with green crunchy celery, all that I'm hoping to see growing in the garden soon. One of the things 
I love about cooking are all of the comforting sounds and delicious smells that begin to fill the kitchen. And there's something very gratifying about chopping an onion or a stalk of celery, a bell pepper or a carrot. If I put my focus on this particular task, it can actually be quite meditative, even when there's those loud outbursts coming from the children playing. I remind myself if I start preparing dinner early, I can have a chance to partake in this mindful act and not think of making dinner as a dreadful chore, but rather as an opportunity to slow down and really take in the sound of an onion being chopped or the smell of fresh garlic sizzling in hot oil. This all may not be easy at first, but if you give it time, it can become a lifelong habit. mixture off the heat and let cool before adding my other ingredients to it and meanwhile I decided to wash and peel these russet potatoes that I had on hand and going to cut them into small quarters add a little bit of olive oil kosher salt and black pepper to them along with some fresh flat leaf parsley and then bake them in a hot oven until crisp yet tender and golden And now I'm finally chopping sliced almonds to add to the carrot cake mixture and going to add other elements of goodness to this mixture too so they'll be healthy but delectable as well. And I will write down the recipe for you and I'll leave it down below. I would love for you to try these. I've been making these for over 10 years now and for some reason I tend to make them more during the season of spring. And it's also nice to prepare more vegetarian meals at home too. But the recipe comes from the cookbook called The Spirited Vegetarian by Paulette Mitchell. I bought it at a little second-hand bookstore back in Phoenix. I lived there with my husband for a while, and even though the landscape is so beautiful out there, we were missing the changing of the seasons. We were a little limited to where we could move. My husband is an aerospace engineer, so I was so thankful when we found this little farmhouse in the country in Iowa.
While my two older kids and husband were helping clean the kitchen, I started to get our little bedtime routine going for our little ones. We love reading the touch and feel biscuit books, so those are the ones we've collected over time. And after I give them a bath, I usually try and tidy up the house a little, but this night I was feeling very, very tired. And instead, I think I may go sit down in bed, quietly fold a load of laundry, which can also be another mindful practice, and then read one of my books that are kept on my nightstand while sipping a glass of red wine and wait for my husband to join me. Thank you so much for spending an afternoon with me here at the carriage house. So until next time, have a blessed evening and stay safe, my dear friend.